Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with some more work on the bunny journals. So um, I am just gonna get to work on that. Let's see, I want to say hi and hugs first though to Minxie and Jessica who I think are doing a craft room redo as well. So I was thinking about both of them. And then Rock and Stacy and Irene. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for your comments. Appreciated, of course. Okay, book weight. Lots of questions about this. This is a book weight that um, I received in Happy Mail, but have since put on my Gail's favorite things on my website. So they're so handy. Like this was really sticking up last night. And I was like, I'm just going to put the book weight on it and have it get squooshed down a little bit. And it, it worked great. So, so there you go. That's what that is. And it doesn't go there. It goes back here. I'm trying to put things away so that I remember where things are. Found my punch, by the way. Found my um, punched in order to punch these pockets. Yeah, that was, that was kind of crazy. And I still don't know that we're done with those pockets. So that might be something we do. Um, wanted to show you that these finished off these little, um, vellum big old envelopes. So those will take a whole page really. So this one is for the little girl bunny. This one is for the boy bunny. So we can put those in. I want to do something with a belly band today and we might think about doing something with these sacks too. I don't know. So We'll just get on to it. Let's see where we would like to put this. I've just been clipping things in because I haven't felt positive about anything. <laughs> I, I really do think this um, room move has sort of disgruntled me more than I realized. You know, it's just, boy, that's pretty against that dark green, isn't it? Yep, that's the spot right there for that one. Oh my gosh, it is a little wide. It's a little wide. But that's okay. I'll just let it hang over the edge a little bit. Yeah, that looks fine. That looks just fine. Okay, I just have to know when I um, glue it, not to glue it. And, and it kind of, kind of curled with the... Mod Podge, so kind of. You know what else I want to do before I glue it is I'm just going to go over this with a little fingernail file to take off the the Mod Podge sticky. Okay, that feels better. Let's do the other one too while we're at it. Yeah, I found this little sprig of flowers in my um, appliques box and I thought they were cute on that. So that made me happy. Finished that off yesterday. And yesterday the guys came and moved my table. So I'm like, I'm like three piles of stuff away from being able to do a craft room tour. So I'm hoping next week. Let's see that. Okay, and then here we want to come in a bit from the edge. And then that'll be a pocket behind, too. So that'll be good. Okay. And then we'll find a spot for the one in the Boy Bunny book. And then we'll get on to making something new. So I'm filming ahead a little bit because we have, we have a weekend trip planned. And then... The following weekend, I have a retreat, so I'm trying to get filmed ahead a bit so that 
we don't miss too, too many videos. And um, so all that to say, today's Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I I guess by, by now I should say I hope you had a good one. <laughs> Let me see. I need... I need to clip that down. I think what I'm going to do is just clip the book. I have to stand up here to get my clips. Let's see if that doesn't make it. I'm just going to clip the clip the book all the way shut and hope that that We'll make those stay down. That's the one thing about that vellum. It's a little unforgiving, you know. It's pretty stiff. Okay. So, little Miss Bunny, you go up there and let's find a spot for you. Which, I don't know that the green is where I want you. That's kind of nice. No, don't like that one. I don't know why, but I kind of like the blue. So, we're going to go with it. So, I think in yesterday's video, I told you about when I was doing the stamping and stuff, I told you about this really great hand cleaner that I saw at Creativation. Well, they've contacted me and I think they may be sending me some. They have a variety of products and I think they may be sending me some to share with all of you. So I'm excited for that to happen. And I still haven't seen the craft text come, so That'll be coming too, but I just don't know when. So, yeah, some new things to share, I think, coming up. Just trying to hold it down in all the spots. It's difficult. <laughs> my, my hands aren't big enough this morning. And that's the other thing. It's morning crafting around here because it's Valentine's Day, and my husband is taking me out to lunch. We decided to do lunch instead of dinner because we figured the rest of the world will be going out to dinner. <laughs> so, so while the rest of the world goes out to dinner, we'll just stay home. But, yeah. That'll be fun. There's a restaurant that... Um, I used to go to occasionally for work lunches and my husband's never been there for lunch. So we're going to go, we're going to go give it a try. Okay. I'll let that sit. I'll put that on top of the other one and hopefully those will dry well. Alrighty then. I want to make some belly bands and, um, I want to just use some of this, um, you know, some of these collage papers. These are too short, but I'm thinking I have this strip, I have this big old strip. So I think I'm going to use this end. And so what I'm going to do is, is uh, cut this off at eight and a half, which is the height of my pages so that it will it will fit the pages so well i've been wanting to use this because um it's kind of been in my way i have had it sitting down here on the floor and you know i'm about i'd say i'm about maybe I don't know three piles of stuff ready away from being able to do my craft room tour 
Okay, isn't that pretty? Yeah, I'm gonna go two and a half inches wide is what I'm gonna do. And then I figured what I do is let the, this one, I'm gonna go this way because I want that part, two and a half. Okay. And then I have a skinny one left for another day, <laughs> for another book. <laughs> yeah. So let's do, yeah, let's use those for the belly bands. I think that'll be kind of fun. Um, do I want this this way or this way? I kind of like it that way, I think. And this like this, okay. So I was gonna look, I have, in my bunny box, I have some ribbons. I have this one, I have kind of, this is almost like a, almost like a tightly woven burlap sort of with bunnies. This has bunnies and then this one has really sweet little bunnies too. I think I like this one. And I'm just gonna see what that would look like down the middle with that black. Oh my gosh, yes. This is gonna go in the boy journal. That's that's what we want. And done without taking any appendages off the bunnies. That makes me happy too. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh, that's cute. Okay, I need to ink up, ink up the edges of the of these I was thinking about do I want to sew around it which I probably do it just adds another little bit of something fun doesn't it look at the backs are cute too they're all ready for writing but these are going to be belly bands so a total waste of scraps. <laughs> oh, like, you know, any of us need more scraps. Shouldn't say that. I think some people do feel that they could use some, especially if they're new to junk journaling. Okay, so now here we go. Let's see. Um, I could bring my sewing machine over because I don't move a couple things here. Don't have too, too much on my desk yet. Haven't gotten crazy yet. Okay, let's get the foot feed over here. Alrighty then, let's just... I think I want to put this on first, just because then I'll have the stitching Just gonna go not quite to the end. So, yeah, just pop that on. I, I hope you can see. I don't know if you can because it's, I'm right down here at the bottom, but let's see. Make sure we're, make sure we're straight. Okay, now, I'm just gonna go right around here. a little more help because that's pretty thick. 
Okay, aha. I am out of my bobbin. That is not my bobbin. <laughs> Jeez, Gail. Oh, I think I am. Yep. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how lucky I was to get that one all done. That's awesome. And I'm all prepared and have a bobbin already wound. Because I'm just good like that. Let's just pop a new bobbin in there. And we'll be ready to go again, maybe. There it is. Pulling the um, sewing machine over here. The light isn't as good. But, oh, it was so lovely this morning coming down here and the sun was shining through the window. I can't even tell you how. It's only a basement window, so it's a little tiny window up high on the wall. <laughs> but I love it. Okay, so now that I did that, I kind of want to put the... Let's see how this goes on this one. Ah, excuse me. Fumbly. Sometimes this stuff is just hard to get off. Gosh. Okay. Goodness. That was much tougher than it should have been. Okay, let's just see what we think. Nope. Don't love it because it covers up that. Maybe what we'll do instead on this one is put some lace off the bottom. Let's see what we have here. Let's look in my scary scraps here. I would like to use scraps. We could use pom-poms. That'd be kind of fun. Only two will fit though, so I don't really like that. Don't have anything big enough in there. Okay, so let's look over here. It is kind of pretty. Might be nice. My laces aren't quite as convenient as they were before, but I have more room on my desk, so I'm living with it. Okay, that's actually very pretty. We'll do that. Do that instead of going up and down. And then we can just sew that on at the same time. Sorry if that's down so far you can't see it. Have you ever wondered why it's so hard sometimes to get a pin through lace? It's like, it's as open weave as it can get. And yet, maybe it's just that my pin is dull or something. I don't know. Okay, so we'll sew this on first. After all of that goings on. I think I'm just gonna go straight down the middle of that. Down there at the bottom. That's some thick cardstock right there. Okay, 
Alrighty, let's move Mr. Sewing Machine away. Okay. Now, where would we like to put these? I think I'm going to start getting crazy and gluing in because, you know, why not? This is so cute. Yeah, this one just, I love it. Okay, so. I mean, that's pretty cute right there, isn't it? So that's a thought. What's it look like on, I feel like I put a lot of stuff on the front. I guess it's pretty even. I don't like that as well. I think I like it best there. So that's what we're going to do. That's why I didn't put my book way away. <laughs> I need it when I'm working. I need it. Okay, this is in my way and bugging me. Yeah, you move things around, it's like a whole different way of working, you know? Let's see, I need to trim this off a little bit. Still no bunny parts were cut off. Phew. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. You know what else I would like to do is um, Amy at Crafty Cat on YouTube did a fun, fun page with like three pockets on it. It was really cool. So I'd like to try that, see how that might work. Look at how cute that is. That really, I love that. Oh my gosh, I'm having fun with these journals. Okay, so now this one. And that looks kind of neat there too. There's that string, I was wondering. So that does look kind of neat there with the, uh, this color and this color. So I think I might do that there too. Gosh, strings everywhere. Okay. Yeah, I think I might do that. I don't want to cover up the other page. I don't want to cover up that um, pretty pattern there, which of course I bought that paper on Etsy, so I didn't do it. So I don't know how, how, it, how it got done. Okay, belly bands in. What haven't we sewn in? Put that in. Haven't put that in. Haven't put the pocket in. Haven't put the bag in yet. But I think we can. What the heck, let's just go for it. Just get some stuff going here. Oh, I just had a thought too. I have a bunny stencil that I got in Happy Mail that is in my stencils. Now the question is, oh yeah, they're right over there. I see them. <laughs> I looked, oh, I was going to tell you I looked all over for those um, hole punches, you know, because I wanted to do the, um, I wanted to do that right here and oh yeah I finally found them and they're just right they're right beside me because I thought that's weird Gail why'd you put it clear across the room when you need those all the time well I didn't just couldn't see the forest for the trees oh, yeah. it's just funny okay Getting things done, getting things done. OK, 
Okay, and this, we were talking about the options, which would be kind of to put it in the middle. I think I wanna put it down here and just do the two sides. I think that's what we're gonna do so that we can slide a journaling card or something in there. Which we're gonna have to make one of these days. You know what I need to make is the collage cards for Patreon. I need to make some more of those for the new new VIPs, new VIP patrons. Okay, so Mr. Bunny, everything we've made is in. That's Miss Bunny, excuse me. Excuse me, Miss Bunny. Okay, Mr. Bunny we need to do now. Yeah, so it's gonna be interesting going out to lunch to this place because um, they have really wonderful sandwiches. My husband was wanting a, a Reuben and they have like a panini Reuben. It's very, very, I mean, their food is very good there. Um, but I'm just thinking, what can I eat because you've watched my channel for a while you know I'm on a really restrictive eating plan and so probably a salad is what will happen okay yeah, there's that in then I love that page. Okay, and then here's our little, yeah, we need to, well, maybe we'll do that next. I was thinking of putting some of the labels from Roxy Creations that are, can't remember the name of the kit. I'll show you though. You'll recognize it. It's one, it's a new one. then is that it? I think so. Okay. So we're glued peeps. We're glued. We've got the glue happening. Okay. I am going to get rid of the paper clips and then let's, I'll show you those labels. Okay. They're right here. See these. And I was thinking of putting one of those on those pockets. Oh my gosh, I think this one, this little, this little chicken. It's adorable. I think that would look cute on that one. This is a little fussy cutting job for me down the road, isn't it? Get these done. I'm so good at circular-ish things. Not, not at all. This will be cute on there. And then we're gonna have to take to re reevaluate the situation because I don't know what else I want to do. Oh, that pocket thing. I wanted to do that pocket thing. If I can kind of remember how she did it. I know she used a tag for one pocket. And a book page for a pocket. And then like a pocket from the kit, but I don't know if there's pockets in this kit. I don't think so. So we might have to wing that one. And then she made tags to go in. It's a great video. If I remember, I will um, attach it since I've been talking about it. Oh yeah, that's gonna be cute. I feel like it needs something behind it to kind of pop 
pop it out. Well, let's see what it looks like when we distress the edges. Maybe that'll be enough or we'll need something behind it. We don't know. something you guys I'm loving my little setup I can't wait to show you if I could just get her done okay we're gonna go here so we're gonna cut this a little scrappy do for later let's see we can get rid of the ribbon okay stand on my head <laughs> okay I'd like to some strings on this. I should probably check the time, huh? I'm just having so much fun. I have to. Oh, we're good. Okay. Um, I'm listing the Rose and Bloom journal today, so I need to get off of here in time to do that. <laughs> would be unhappy with me if they were sitting and refreshing and I didn't go. <laughs> oh, this is looking really good frayed. I love this. So that's one of my one of my Etsy chores once I once I do the studio tour, then um I'm going to do Yeah. I'm going to um do some more of those layering things for my Etsy because well, let's just face it I just have there's I just have too much stuff so I'm gonna gonna do that but I want to do my tour while Everything's semi-clean, you know, and not all over the place. Why you're being obstinate, little glue? There it is. Don't know that this has a right and wrong side. So, just put it there. And we'll look at the other one and look at this and see which one of these we want to use on the other one, too. Oh, yeah, that's cute. So cute. Yeah, I like this because it had the kind of the faded patchwork back there. And this is all patchwork yet right there. So love that. Okay, so there's that one. Let's go check out Girl Bunny page and see where is that pocket. Right there. Oh, it's very patchworky. Um, let's see. I want to use bunnies. This bunny might be good. Yeah, I think I'm going to use the bunny. Because I figure these flowers and butterflies and stuff I can use for other projects. Whereas these just go so nicely with the bunny journals. Sorry, this is painful to watch me do my attempt at curving. <laughs> I 
Yeah, this is not one I would want to do while <clears throat> we're driving somewhere. Could be a disaster. Oh my goodness. I hear my husband just going here, going there, going out the back, going out the garage, going. He's busy this morning. So we have baby gates um, that shut off the upstairs and the downstairs from Jimmy Joe. So he's just on the one level that's wood floors because... You know, we still don't trust him, even though he's doing great on his potty training. Um, still don't trust him. So I get up this morning and the gate to the upstairs is down. <laughs> like put aside. So my husband had put it aside. And um, <clears throat> Jimmy Joe was having himself a little freedom run through the bedrooms. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't do anything. He didn't, you know have an accident, but I was like, what are you doing, Jimmy Joe? Mike comes running, and he's like, what? And I'm like, the gate wasn't up. <laughs> he's like, oh no, that's totally my fault. I'm like, well, yeah, because I was sleeping, so it wasn't my fault. <laughs> oh, it is an adventure. Oh, that's super cute. Um, like that. Do I want to just do like a little piece of this behind it? I think I do because that stands out against that just fine. So, okay, we're just going to put that there. Put it right here. And then this on there. Yeah, so the guys who came to move the couch, I was, you know, I was explaining the baby gate saying we have a puppy. And uh, my husband had taken him for a walk while the mover guys were here. <laughs> And the mover guy, they got done, and I said, thanks so much and everything. And he goes, well, my only regret is I didn't get to see your puppy. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah. Big old burly guy, and he was sad he didn't get to see the puppy. <laughs> okay, so the, the next thing I kind of wanted to do was I was thinking about these sacks. Now, the sacks are too wide for the book, and this was, I, I was, again, I was watching Amy at Crafty Cat, and she was like, oh, no, it's too wide, and so she cut it down and stuff, but I had the idea of folding it over and sewing it, which is what I think I'm going to do to keep the height of the bag, and I think... I might put this on one of the smaller pages. The, um, you know, the ones that are printed. Like that. What about this by the green? Yeah, that's a good spot. I don't know what I'm going to do to the bag yet, really. I wonder if I have any ruffles that would be good that I could just sew the ruffle on. Semi-straight. <laughs> just one second. Let me grab those. Well, I've got ruffles, but they're not long enough. And if I put a ruffle on that, I don't want it to be by the spine. I'd want it to be over here. So, unless I take this one and do it over this away. 
which would work. But I'm kind of thinking, what do I have in my bunny fabrics that would be fun along there? Pink would definitely. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, but then that's orange-ish. Oh yeah, I was thinking of these for pockets too, wasn't I? I need to put them in a different spot. See, I've got this. I could just sew down the side. Couldn't really ruffle it because it's not long enough. Why not? Let's just do it. Okay, rather than move my machine, I'm just gonna, all I'm gonna do is zigzag down the middle of this. Can you hear clunking? That's Jimmy Joe playing with his bone on the wood floors. <clears throat> Yep, just a quick little zigzag down that. And of course it makes your bag skinnier, but that's that doesn't matter because this was like super wide. It would have been a big old fat journaling card that would have went in there, you know. Um... So I think I want to do that. Then do I want to like Mod Podge a tiny bunny on it or something? I'm just looking through my napkins. I could bring them over here so you can see too. Um, oh, I love these bunnies. I love these bunnies. Ooh, I loved him. Let's do him. That'd be fun. And I actually have my scotch tape right at hand now. <laughs> After yesterday. I've got this little dude right here who I can just easily tear out. I want to get his grass too that he's sitting on. There we go. Okay. Now that I was talking about lunch, I'm thinking I'm getting hungry. <laughs> it's only like probably quarter to 10 or something. 9.30, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna glue stick him down rather than get out my Mod Podge. But I'm just gonna put him right down there. That would be fun. Um, where's my glue stick? Right, right here. About to the end of this glue stick. Right 
on the edge from there. If I get it on the sack, it's okay because it just will dry. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Okay, love it. Love it. That's fun. Now, I do think, though, I want to ink around it a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to say that I'm feeling... That's okay. I was just worried about the pink. I was thinking, does it really go? But I think it's cute. So, now do I want to... That I think I'll just put that on like a pocket. And so the back, to can put something in the back if you wanted to. So let's do that. Wouldn't have to, but you sure have the option. All about options here. Okay, and we're gonna go kind of to the bottom of the page. Just like that. Okay, that's fun. Need some big old tag for that, don't we? Okay, so let's see if we find a spot for, it's going to be over on this side, <clears throat> for th this other one. Oh, I wanted to put it on one of these, didn't I? That's good, across from the green. Okay, so, across from the green, what do we want to put down the side? Oh, what about nope nope not that hmm gonna do it's okay that it's not the whole length I'm still gonna sew the whole length though just to have that stay put That actually looks kind of cool with the shorter one and having just the zigzag down there. That like I kind of like that. Okay. Is there a napkin that we would like to use on that one? This one's really cute. Wonder if we could fit that in there. Let's just see. Oh, tape. I know what I could use for that third pocket on that page. I'm still thinking on that. Is I could use um, one of my Easter um, vintage postcards. That could be cute, couldn't it? Okay. So. I want this side. And she's going to have to be torn off a little bit. Okay, let's just see what we get. 
Do you hear that clanging? That's Jimmy Joe nosing into his food and water bowl. <laughs> A lot of action right above me right now. <laughs> Check the time too, hadn't I? Okay, we have nine minutes. We're doing all right. That is cute there, isn't it? I might like that slightly under the ruffle. And then I think I'm just gonna do this. Actually, I don't I'll do it afterwards. Okay, so let's get this all gluey. Top to bottom, kind of. It's my glue book. Ugh. As I fall out of my chair, <laughs> get in the glue book. It's a little further away than it used to be. Yeah. It's just an adjustment, guys. <laughs> just an adjustment to get all redone. Oh, I was tickled though yesterday, getting that couch out of here. God, those guys are crazy strong too. Although they were grunting and groaning. I was like, yeah, see why we called you? There's no way we could have done it. Okay, I want that kind of there because I kind of want to go under the ruffle a little bit. The one thing about using the Uhu rather than the Mod Podge is um, you don't get that slippery feeling, you know, that you do with Mod Podge. Thought that needed a little right there. Okay. Alrighty then. Aren't we just cooking with Spam today? A few things done on the bunnies. Just gonna slice this off. A tiny bit at the bottom. We'll just slice that off. Okay. And then we'll ink it. And then for the rest of the time, I think we'll just kind of think through what we have and don't have for those three pockets that I want to do. Thank you for the inspiration, Amy. I had a couple of videos last night I watched. One was Attic Lane, I think, was the name of her channel. And she made a really cool paper clip that I was like, well... I can't run down to my craft room anymore. I used to be able to, but if I did, I'd wake up the beast and we can't have that. No, 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 can't have that. Okay, so then let's glue that baby in right here, right? Oh, that's so cute. Okay. And there we go. There's that one. Just like that. Okay. So then what I kind of want to look at is what do we have in the ephemera? from the kit, just here. So do we have any tags? No. But this could work and this could work. Okay. I'm 
once again, this kit is uh, two Easter kits from Roxy Creation. <clears throat> which I will put in the description box. And I was going to try and put Amy's video on the three pockets, wasn't I? Just reminding myself more than you, really, at this point. <laughs> Okay. And this is presentation paper, so it's a bit heavier. So I would feel fine with it being a pocket. I'm looking at this, thinking this could be a pocket on the bottom. And looking at this one too could maybe ooh how about embroidery on both then we have to make the little book page pocket which I need to find some book page that's not too brittle my glue book there's much too brittle it would just it wouldn't make it good Mike's talking to Jimmy Joe that's always scary it's like uh oh what'd he do <laughs> oh crazy boy him and his getting the rips oh my gosh running around the house it's like seriously things are gonna get broken like crazy when he's bigger if he keeps this up because <laughs> he loses his footing on the um he loses his footing on the slippery floor you know okay so just to prove that i do have it here it is so i'm gonna do this on these two and make them pockets Okay, so then I'm going to have to find some book page, but what she did was she, on the page, she kind of, let me grab one of them, instead of using the glue book, that's probably not a good idea. So for instance, she had like one pocket here, she had the other pocket kind of back here, the book page pocket, and then this pocket was kind of like sideways which makes me think these might be too big these two I don't know I think they'll be too big but there's this little guy and this little guy so maybe those could be the top pockets no worries then I have the others the others maybe could go in the pocket is what I'm thinking. So like, let me just cut this out quick. Quick being a relative term. <laughs> this is kind of a jiggity jaggedy one. Okay, so then that pocket would be kind of up there. And then the other pocket, would be, I don't know. We're gonna play with it next time, I think. Cause I think it could be super fun, but I'm just gonna have to play with it and see how I feel like it looks on the page. Amy's was adorable. I loved it. I loved it. So, we'll see what we can do with that idea the next time. Okay, well, I guess we'll call it a crafting session. And thanks everybody so much for hanging out with me and crafting today. I hope you all have a wonderful day and a grateful day, and we will just see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.